when the rain hits my window, I take him <coughs> me some endo. Me and Timberland, ooh, we sing a jangle. We so tight that you get our styles tangled. They saying I only want to do fashion. They saying I only want to be pretty and jiggy, man. So as you've already know, because I am assuming you read the title, I'm going to be styling the parodic monolith dupes. So um, stick around for that. These are the Chelsea boot dupe. I got these from Shein. I will link this in the description box. Of course, yeah, they were not that expensive around $30 if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, super cute. Hope you like. Sorry, they're a little creased up because your girl's been getting her wear out of them. And I'm wearing the other, the loafer dupe. So let me just take that off. Give me a moment. I'm a mess. I apologize. But when am I not a mess? Let's be real. Unless this is your first video. Well, spoiler alert, I'm a mess. <laughs> yeah. Okay, these are the loafer dupe. Got these from Yes Style. These were uh, a little more expensive. I think they were like around $40. And well, more expensive than the other dupe. But in terms of how expensive ah, things could be, not the worst buy. Um, yeah, they're super cute. I love them. I haven't been getting a lot of wear out of them because right now I'm quarantining. But other than that, I know once I'm hitting the streets, these are on my feet. So these are mostly going to be winter outfits, but there are going to be like some spring and summer looks in here because you know me kind of hate winter and i pretend winter is a social construct because i dress how i want all 365 and that's on what i don't know but i do that so enjoy i hope you enjoy stick around to the end if you do there's a surprise no there's not i'm broke i can't give y'all anything but it'll mean a lot if you stick around to the end and actually enjoy the video. Like, share, and subscribe only if you want to. And thanks for coming out. All right, so for this first look, this was directly taken off of Pinterest. Um, I really like this look. It's giving me a 90s or 80s vibe. I mean, the boots I saw on the Pinterest picture were a little taller they came to like mid calf but i think i still kind of do this look justice let me know what you think i literally wear this out to eat and just hang out with friends okay so this next look is a little more casual um this would be a great fit to wear i don't know thrifting running errands grocery store even just hanging out with friends like like i say all the time my outfits are very versatile because i don't really wear much heels and stuff so it's easy to like transition them to your everyday activity um and this is definitely more of a spring outfit because spring summer outfit i guess i should say because there is no jacket but this outfit could still be super cute if you easily throw on any type of coat really you can like i said you can do a coat you can do a leather blazer you could even do a jean jacket I haven't done a jean jacket in a while might bring that back we'll see who knows also the pants are one of my fave thrifted pieces because they make my butt look great first of all and like their garage like how do you go wrong with that and i kind of like how they are a little cropped but also some of fits i hate that it's cropped oh this fit you see this fit looks good when you don't see the whole fit <laughs> like i love the color combination but the pants are a bit ill-fitting they're legit too long but at the top they're too short they don't really fit my butt but that's why i don't wear them without a long shirt on top and i don't know why i'm revealing so much to y'all but you get the gist i feel like if the pants were like tailored to fit me i think they would look perfect because right now they're just dragging it's giving me very 70s which is not a bad thing but i just feel like it looks a bit ill-fitting but nobody can tell me anything this color combination hits 
Sorry, I never know what to say about the outfits. Do I tell you the pieces I'm wearing? Or do I tell you where I go in this look? Hello, me dropping things and being a mess. What's new? Okay, so I really love this fit because it's giving me very a prepster. Is that even a thing? It's giving me a little clueless. And I think these shoes, because they look like Oxfords, just go so great with this outfit. So just to change up the look a bit in the next clip, Three, two, one. Yeah, so I added this cute little corduroy jacket because I thought the colors went so great with the skirt and the bag. It's a way to step up the look without doing too much, and I think it works out perfectly. I've done this look before, but with Air Forces, and I must say, the little Oxfords steal the show. Or should I say loafers? Are they Oxfords or loafers? This is bad. I don't even know what's going on here. So this next look is super casual. What I like about this look is that you could definitely wear it to school, um, university, yes, <laughs> or college. No elementary school or high school stuff because midriff is just shining through. Um, so yeah, I like this look because um, it's toning down the shoes a bit. So in case you're a bit uncomfortable about how like the shoes look because they're too loafery or oxfordy um you can't really tell because the jeans kind of cover it if you get a longer jean but it's still a way of giving you a little bit of extra height and slightly looking like you're not just wearing basic shoes oh and that's me realizing that i asked google to play a song that does not at all sound like the song i requested so this is one of the looks that you can get away with um in spring early spring and winter because leather pants i don't know how people in la do it but i put on leather pants and i'm sweating if i stay indoors so i could only imagine during that gorgeous weather how they're suffering wearing leather anyways back to the look this look is super cute it's super chill um i like how the oxfords blend into the pant like it's not a drastic change, black on black, we love that, and just the pop of color of the cardigan. Cardigan is so cute, I stole it from my sister, it's from Zara, 10 out of 10, recommend it, it's so structured, and it's warm, but also doesn't make you sweat. Absolutely love this look, we're back in the leather pants, but I don't know, I think it's the jacket that does this for me. I thrifted this, like, probably over four years ago at Black Market. Honestly, that place is the best. I love it so much. Everything's for $10. Well, most things are for $10, which is great. This jacket is like one of my most prized possessions. I wouldn't sell it. Even if somebody gave me 100 bucks for it, I wouldn't do it. Anyways, this look is great for like the student day to day. I switch it up with the purse so you can make it like a casual day look instead of the tote bag because the tote bag is giving me very, I'm going to the grocery store or I'm running late to lecture oh and because i failed to mention it earlier i switched out the oxford for the chelsea boot because i think the boot works better with this fit i mean you could wear either but i went for the boot another super 90s look went for the skirt because i feel like i've been wearing a lot of pants because honestly pants are comfy and it's cold so this look is more of a going out look in my opinion i don't know why i opened it in the middle that looks so awful please let me fix oh yes i fixed it so this is how the look should be worn and i think this is just cute sexy but you're toning it down with the tights one more thing i feel like if i had those nylon high socks this fit would hit so hard so i gotta invest can you see that i'm obsessed with leather pants or yeah i just love this look it's so grungy but it's so on brand for me and it's also so wearable like i mean not a lot of people can do leather but if you can man get leather if you're confident enough to wear it because you won't regret it. it it'll keep you warm in the winter and you'll just look stylish basically no matter what you're wearing so with this look i added um the flannel and the sweater obviously for some extra warmth and i actually rewore this look 
with a band tee inside and a different colored flannel that's more neutral and I think I love it so much so you should check out my Instagram to see that look and tell me what you think. Also wear that look with the Oxford instead of the boot. Yay! Another look I love so much! And honestly, you can tell I'm stuck in the 90s era because my mom is the reason for most of my wardrobe. And honestly, that era is bomb as fuck. And I think my hair matches that. Um, also, can you get demonetized for swearing? Because I didn't mean to swear, but I did. And I'm not going to edit it out because that's just who I am. This is me. Yo, I look good in this outfit. I'm wearing this cute little cow bag by this um, boutique called Grandma's Basement. And, yo, she's amazing. The girl who owns it. She has her own little shop. You all should check it out. I'll link it if I can. But yeah, this fit, I put on a bomber on top of it just so you can wear it in the colder months, so winter. But I would love to do the fit without the jacket because you need to see the full thing. And I did this with the Oxford because why the heck not? It looks so cute with it. Oh, sorry i just noticed that you were staring at this what do they call it banana leaf footstool or like mat or whatever and it blocked the outfit sometimes i'm such an idiot i apologize about that sitting here looking back and in the future i will take care to move it it was honestly there as a place marker and because it's genuinely always there and i just didn't think because like I can't really see what's happening in the shot while I'm in the shot because I'm using my phone unfortunately I don't have a camera I obviously forgot to film an outro and I already changed and I'm currently wearing no pants so this is me this is my truth but I just like to say thank you for sticking around all the oh my gosh I'm talking and there's music in front hey Google pause Hi, I'm back. Anyways, I've changed. Currently wearing no pants, but you don't care. And you don't need to know that. But here I am. This is my truth. And I'm telling it. Don't know why, but there it is. Um, Thank you for joining me on this journey, which is styling the chunky loafer and boot. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you loved some of the looks. I hope you try them out yourself. Um, I am a believer in these shoes. And I 1000% recommend you buy them. The quality so far has been good. I haven't had any issues with either of them. But mind you, the loafer I've only had for like two weeks. To the moment I'm recording this, it's been only about two weeks. Um, and I have not worn them out because I can't. But I will update you in another video about how it goes how they take to the asphalt or the concrete jungle as you would say which is the urban setting that was a lot didn't need all that peace love little donuts i don't know how to say goodbye as always thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it let me know what i can do to improve Abby. and make your viewing experience all the more better and make you come back to watch this craziness that is my life and my closet. I have a shopping problem. You probably haven't noticed yet because I've only uploaded one haul. Oh, me too. There's more in the works. I need to stop and get my life together. Love you lots and I hope you come back again and have a good day or night wherever you are. Sway your do si do like you loco. Like Coco, so so. You wanna play with my yo yo? I smoke my hydro on the D note.